How's it going, everybody? And welcome to episode one of a new Let's Play. Ancient East Vanished Omen East Chronicles Plus Most commonly referred to as East Book One I'm very excited to be doing this game. This game is just a great classic RPG. I'm going to be quiet as the intro plays. You may recognize this music in uh, much of this video as I use this to build the teaser. With that tremendous opening, it's time for us to delve into this wonderful world. Ah, good. You're awake. Don't strain yourself now. Your body is covered in bruises. So, you still hurting anywhere? At all checked himself over. There was some pain, but nothing debilitating. Get some rest. You're in a clinic at Barbado Port.
Hey, Dad, is the stranger awake yet? Ah, Slaff, you're early. How did the meeting go? Same as always. No real progress. Well, the patient's only just awoken. Glad to see you back among the living. Ah, yes, where are my manners? My name is Bluto. I own and operate this clinic. This is my son, Slaff. He found you collapsed on the beach and brought you here. We drove off the Reball that attacked you. It was a real close call. Adol told Slaff his name and expressed his gratitude. Adol, huh? Good name. Don't recognize you, though. Where are you from? Adol explained that he journeyed from Promalok in Asteria by bo to Asteria by boat. My word! You came from overseas? Amazing! You're the first man I know of to get past the storm wall. What do you two think you're doing? Uh-oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. <laughs> I'll chew you up, Slaff, if you keep making comments like that. <laughs> the man's wounded, you know. Shouldn't you leave him be? He needs his rest. That's my Isla, always keeping us in check. You make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay. I'll stop talking his ear off. Rest up, Adol. But know this, I'm not done with you yet. Under the clinic's care, a doll recovers quickly. Several days later... Good morning, a doll. You seem to be in tip-top shape now. Still, you should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well... I suppose a walk around town could do you some good. Just don't overexert yourself. For a boy your age to have slept so soundly, you must have quite a story to tell. The doll of the portside warehouse has become home for the town's militia. Slaff should be there. He can answer any questions you might have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Listen, the doll, there are monsters outside town, so don't push your luck. Okay. And with that, let's head out into the town of Barbado. Well now, who might you be? I see. So you're the young man that Dr. Bluto has been looking after. You must have been through a lot. But you're looking very well. That's Bluto for you. Now a lot of the backstory for this game is told through talking to the NPCs and having that. And as you can see, there's actually a log of all the different NPCs that you've met talking a little bit about them. So we're going to try to complete this log as we play through the game. Slaff is working hard to keep the town safe, but in the end, he may just be kidding himself. Rather than live in fear of a monster attack, wouldn't it be better for everyone in Barbado to move to Minet? Hey mister, did you come from the mainland? Isn't the Stormwall really Dido? I hope it stays forever. If it ever goes away, the girl next door will have to leave with her family. This is the town where I was born and raised. It's my home even consider leaving this place. But my child's safety is paramount, so perhaps Manet, with its city wall, really is the place to be. I've been fishing here for as long as I can remember. Since the storm wall appeared, my catch has been consistently bigger than ever. I believe one would call that a mixed blessing. This is the armory, and that other building I just ran past is the militia building. 
go there last. Before the storm wall appeared, this bar was always packed. I can handle being poor. I just really hate being bored all the time. Such stunning red hair. You must be a doll, no? Dr. Bluto told me all about you. As you can see, we're on a bit of a break right now. The storm wall's not conductive to tourism, after all. My daddy always talks about leaving Hysteria, but why would I leave when I have so many good friends here? I came here because I heard I could make a tidy profit in the local silver trade. Now I just want to go home. Damned Stormwall! May its stormy progeny all suffer uncomfortable bloating! At one time, Barbado was swimming in traders like my husband, but they all tried to go home and got swallowed up by the storms. I'm just grateful to have my family here with me, though. That's enough to keep me happy. A very wise sentiment indeed. Since the ships are all grounded, there's no work to be had at the harbor anymore. I'd been hoping to branch out into the silver trade, but that didn't exactly work out either. Bad luck all around. My son and his wife live in Manet. They keep asking me to go live with them, but they must be joking. This is my home. I could never leave here, no matter what the danger. Watch out for the blue-headed demons out in the field. Be careless and you'll be dead. You're only human, after all. If you're not sure about your chances for survival, then run away. Run like the wind. Six months ago, monsters started showing up on the North Road. As a result, I haven't seen my friends in Manet for quite some time. I wonder how they're doing these days. These little critters are called pickards. They've been raised as livestock here for generations. Their meat is absolutely delicious, but they're real easy prey for monsters, so we raise them here, where nothing can hurt them but us. Things were great six months ago. Huge trade ships were coming in constantly and Barbado was flourishing. But those days, all we do is fish, fish, fish. I yearn for the way things were. And with that, yeah, it should be time to head for the... Or not the armory, but the... Yeah, we talked to the militia headquarters. You're the one that Slaff rescued, aren't you? Fine red hair like yours is certainly a rarity here. We watch the surrounding area from here. That way, if the dream demons try to mount an attack, we can see them coming. Why, if it isn't a doll, you okay to be moving around like that? Every time I stop by, you are sound asleep. You must have been exhausted. So, heard any murmurings overseas about hysteria? I'd love to know what people are saying about us. The doll told Slaff he'd heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? It's not really true, but it's also not too far off. Guess we can't count on any support from the outside. If they think we're cursed over here, we've got to take action. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, but I'll gladly answer any questions I can. Ask away. Barbado is the only port town in Hysteria. It used to be just a small fishing village until the silver was discovered nearby. Then it boomed overnight. But ever since that storm wall showed up, no ships can get in or out. Our exporting days are over. So now, it's just a fishing village again. For the time being, anyway. 
At least everyone got some money from all the silver trade while it lasted, I guess. Hysteria is a small island country. There are only a few towns here. Barbado, the walled city of Manet, and Zepic Village in the mountains. Not long ago, there was a town called Raston, but it got wiped out by monsters after the mine closed. The place where I found you is called Whitehorn Beach. Mother of Pearl pieces wash ashore there. Great place for a stroll, save for the monsters everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, Darm Tower. Asteria's claim to fame, sort of. It just seems to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? On clear days, you can see it all the way from Promalock. There are other touristy spots, but they've been infested with monsters ever since the storm wall showed up. Damn thing really made life difficult for us. It appeared, let's see, about six months or so ago. The first storm started on a night when some trade ships carrying silver set out from Barbado. Buffeted by the storm, the ships were obliterated, washed ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. We first thought it was an isolated incident, but the same fate's been met by every other ship since. That's how the storm wall got its start, and now we Asterians are pretty much trapped here. Most people have just kind of resigned themselves to their fate, but me, I'm too stubborn for that. When the storm wall appeared, monsters came with it. That's what attacked you that day on the beach. We call that particular species a rebel. Monsters first appeared on the road up to the mountain, but they began attacking the villages soon after. Barbado in particular was hit pretty hard. Manet seemed just as vulnerable, but they've got that wall around them, so they're much more secure. Zepic was scared bare too, somehow. Supposedly kept the monsters out with some kind of mystical bell. We have nothing of the sort here, though, so we have to take up arms and defend ourselves. You, you've got an iron will, man. You may just be what we need. The storm wall has claimed so many lives, and it needs to stop. I assume you're looking to travel all throughout Asteria, no? That's a really bad idea. You'll be eaten by monsters for sure. No good could come of it. Why not join the town militia instead? You've sure got the guts for it. Adal explained that he wanted to confirm Asteria's current state with his own eyes. Yeah, I figured. I know your type. I doubt I could ever change your mind. You're a wild one for sure. It takes nothing short of a miracle to make it through the storm wall alive. This is my place. I know that. But it's not yours. No, Destiny's got bigger things in mind for you, definitely. Anyway, when you leave here, go north. We're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Manet. Manet is Asteria's largest city. You're sure to find some useful information there. Oh yeah, and take this with you. Consider it a parting gift. All of us militants carry these. They're small, but they get the job done. Haven't got much in the way of armor, but there's a good shop for that in Minet. Be sure to stop by when you can. Take care, and if you come round again, drop in. So let's equip our short sword. And with that, we will leave Barbado behind and make for the town of Minet. Now the combat system in East is very unique, it's called the bump system. Basically there's no attack button, all you do is you run into enemies to attack them. Now you want to try to catch them either off center or from behind or from an angle. That way they can't strike you while you strike them. Like right there. I got him diagonally, but he was diagonal too. And as a result, I took damage for every hit that he hit me. Ah, 
honestly, nothing here is really worth fighting, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Kill him just for the sake of it. Too far right. There's the walls in the middle there. Love the music in this area. It's so great. Wrap around the walls. And then through the gate of Monet, and we arrive at our destination. And now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up. Next episode, we will explore the town of Monet. I want to thank everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the start of our experience in Nice and the world of Asteria. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. Throw any feedback you might have into the comments below. And I will talk to you guys again next time. And thank you very much for watching today. Good night.